Welcome to this Windows channel and uh, as we just started 2016 I uh, wanted to uh, give out a little bit of my observations on what to expect in 2016 uh, from Windows 10 because uh, now you know we had the release of Windows 10 last year July 29th we already had a, a November update in uh, November and um, you know, some people ask me, well, you know, in 2016, uh, what, what, what can we expect? What's going to happen? Is there going to be big changes? Well, first of all, um, the first big thing that's to expect is Redstone, which will be a major update to Windows 10. And it's going to be interesting to see what it brings to Windows 10, because it seems that uh, you know, from what we hear, there's going to be a lot of stuff that's going to be added to Windows 10. And um, new features, new apps, and of course, uh, you know, a new uh, continuing on the experience of Windows 10. It's going to be interesting to see Redstone, that's for sure. And of course, for those that are insiders, uh, one of the things to expect is, of course, we'll have probably a lot of insider previews on our machines coming uh, soon to our computers because we will be testing that redstone basically as insiders um, another thing that's to expect that a lot of people are waiting for in windows 10 is the ability of microsoft edge to finally uh, use add-ons a lot of people use add-ons for different types of uh, features in windows basically add-ons add new um, capabilities to the browser that aren't there natively so um, that's going to be probably something to uh, check for and also by having you know edge pretty much becoming a full browser with all the capabilities it's going to be interesting to see if it can ever become one of the browsers that everybody wants to use I use it a lot but uh, and some of you do also but um, it does seem that it's losing uh, really uh, a lot of ground because people move to other browsers. Um, what's to expect also? Um, by July, we will, of course, have the end of the free upgrade experience. So that's also something that's going to be interesting to see. What will Microsoft do? Will they... You know, what What I was thinking is that Microsoft might actually maybe not extend the free upgrade, but maybe say, well, you know, we'll have a, a little period that we're going to have a, an upgrade that doesn't cost too much um, to Windows 10. We'll see that. Uh, some people have been speculating that Microsoft uh, could extend the free upgrade to Windows 10 a little further. So um, that's going to be interesting to see. Where I'm going to be interested, basically, is, um, you know, some reports say Redstone's in June. Of course, in July is the end of the free Windows 10 upgrades. I'm just curious if Redstone would be delayed. Um, I wouldn't be surprised that they would delay maybe even the upgrade to Windows 10, the free upgrade to Windows 10. Uh, who knows? And of course, after the free upgrade, how is the update path of Windows 10, um, you know, going to go into the future? Uh, for sure, the fact that Windows 10 will become um, something that people have to buy after the July, it's going to be interesting to see. Well, you know, the pace of upgrade will surely slow down, but I expect to have a real big boost of upgrades of Windows 10 by the summer because people that haven't done so well if, if you know start upgrading finally because they say well okay if i want to have it free i gotta get it now and once again i still hear this all the time and I, I've, I've heard it from a client of mine actually uh in christmas uh holiday uh saying oh apparently windows 10 you're gonna have to pay when it's uh you know we get to july no we don't stop thinking about that stop saying that it's still free it's going to stay free you will not have to pay after uh, July if you've upgraded for free it stays free forever uh, you know I don't know how many times I said this on the channel so um, also what's interesting if 
Microsoft has it its way, um, there's going to be also a second update maybe in 2016. Technically, there should be two updates, something like in uh, June, May or June, with Redstone and um, Redstone kind of an upgrade to Redstone somewhere in the fall if everything goes well. But as we've seen in 2015, upgrades are um, or updates have not been as fast as they thought because of the complexity of Windows and you know make, making sure that it doesn't uh, break computers basically. So it's going to be interesting to see you know the changes and also you know the fact that Windows 10 is always in uh, a kind of a, a mode of being evolving all the time it's like a live operating system uh, there's also going to be lots of some new little stuff here and there uh, upgrades of apps um, we'll see you know what to expect in 2016 but in Windows 10 I think we're still in a year where Windows and Microsoft are going to have lots of interesting stuff happening there and of course for all of those that are Windows phone users Pretty much everybody should eventually be on Windows 10 phone uh, somewhere this year. So that's going to be something to look for, uh, for all of those that are still waiting and still on Windows 8.1 phones. It's going to be uh, another milestone also. So we'll see what 2016 brings us in Windows 10. And uh, maybe you have thoughts about what to expect for Windows in Windows uh, for Windows 10, sorry, in 2016 that you'd like to share, uh, why not let us know what you think is to expect in 2016 for Windows 10. If you enjoy my videos, why not subscribe to my channel? You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions, problems, anything you want to know, let us know. And uh, give us thumbs up if you like the videos. It helps us on YouTube. And uh, don't forget that we have tons and tons of videos here. So if you want to learn more, subscribing is the best way. So thanks for watching and uh, always fun to have your feedback.